back to another episode of the Angler's Logbook. I am your host James and today we are on my home water which is Lake Wanaka here in the South Island of New Zealand. Uh, it's a really uh, overcast, like low cloud, freezing cold day. It's only zero degrees here or if you um, yeah, work in Fahrenheit, I think that's around 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So basically at, um, yeah, freezing temperatures. We've got this inversion cloud which we get every year in Wanaka for about two weeks of the year uh, yeah, through about the middle of winter at this time and what it does is just keeps all the cold air down under the cloud, all the warmer air is up above it and so as a result it's an absolute ice box here in Wanaka today. Uh, the only one crazy enough to go out today and go for a fish, the car park's empty, I'm the only trailer in there um, but today we're going to head up the lake, we're going to try and target some rainbow trout, uh, see if there may even be some uh, quinnit salmon around and um, yeah, just see what fish we can get into. We've got about three hours of fishing time out here, so uh, we'll give it a good nudge, try out a few different lures, and we'll keep you posted on what we get. If you're leaving, that's fine. But don't forget your pride, cause I'm just trying. Auxiliary motor warming up before we start trolling. I'll show you the setup we're using. So, we're running the Akuma Magnus out, and it is an awesome setup for uh, trolling. So, it's got the depth counter there, you know how much line you've got out without needing to count uh, the 10 meter sections on the lead line. Uh, but we do have lead line on there, uh, running up to a parabane which helps it to dive. You can see it's a different depths um, to pull away from the boat or in towards the middle. And then uh, we're just going to start with the wee Tassie Devil and uh, we'll see what success we have with that. But we're out here on Lake Wanaka, as promised. It's yeah, nice and cloudy overhead, um, but it's still a beautiful day out here. Not a lot of wind, just a gentle breeze, uh, which is very cold. Yeah, like I mentioned before, it's zero degrees out here, so um, very cold day.
jammed off right in the boat. Ah, got it. Quinart salmon here on Lake Wanaka. There's a really typical size fish for uh, what we catch out here. Um, this is going to be fantastic eating and I'm uh, really stoked to be able to catch this and take it home to the table. I'm going to take this home now and we'll show you how we typically cook it up, how we prepare it and um, yeah just show you how beautiful eating these fish really are. So we're back at home now, I'm uh, going to show you how we uh, deal with our fish. Uh, we've got a knife here from JM Knives that he custom made for us. Um, it's an awesome, awesome knife. But I find um, it actually easy to fill it with a nice thick blade than a thinner one. Um, but for today, all I'm going to do is pull the head off and gut it. Uh, I've got a way that we do this where it basically brings everything out all in one go. Um, instead of having to treat yeah, the guts and the head separately. Um, just run the knife along the middle um, and then put a cut in on both sides here and around the top and then uh, the head and guts will all pull out as one piece. So just start somewhere down the back, uh, anywhere is fine. But it's normally the toughest bits just to get going and once you're in it's just pretty plain sailing. So I'll just take my time because knowing this knife it's very easy to cut myself um, if it slips, so just take it nice and slow. So all we're doing is running the knife up the centre of the fish there. Always be careful with your hands, so try and not cut towards yourself. So I've cut right up the middle there. Now, cut on an angle. Try to get it just in behind the fin, just in behind the head. Try and keep as much meat as we can there. And then with this cut, just make sure you're coming right down to the middle and then around the top. And then just same on this side. And I think that should be about us. So now just grip both pieces, give it a good rip, and then you should find that all of that just comes out 
in one go, like so. Alright, so now that we've got all the guts out, the last thing to do is just run your knife if you come in here and have a look. So down the centre of the fish here, we've got this dark area, just need to run your knife up there. And there's a lot of blood just stays in there um, where the liver is. So yeah, that's the fish's liver. So normally what I do is run the knife in there and then I'll just get some water and all that will just push out with water and you just score it with your thumb as you're pushing out with um, a bit of water and that will push all that out and leave you with a nice clean fillet. So now that we've caught the fish, it's time for everyone's favourite part, which is of course um, cooking it up. So we've got this beautiful salmon here, uh, which we're going to actually be filleting. So we're going to cut it into small chunks, about um, sort of 8 to 10 centimetres, and pan searing the salmon. Uh, we're also going to pair it with uh, some oven baked kumara and uh, so cashew cream sauce. Um, so we'll show you how we do it. Um, not to say that you need to do it the same, but this is just how we do it, and we really enjoy it.